Hi there, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is a Let's Play that's a decent way into um, Borderlands 1. Borderlands is a game uh, is a game series that I was introduced to some years back uh, by somebody on Google Plus when I was looking for a, a, a next game to play. And it turns out that it was really good advice. Uh, I picked up Borderlands 2, really liked it. Uh, then did Borderlands the pre-sequel. I was a little bit wary of going back to Borderlands 1 because uh, just in general, a lot of older games, they don't end up... Uh, 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 just differences in hardware, like uh, joysticks have changed a lot since uh, a lot of these games. Uh, but also... Oh, that hurt. There's a, a certain extent of to which just our standards have changed. And uh a lot of different things from uh, a game that was made recently. Nailed it. Versus uh something back then. Like when I think back to my first few games on the Atari 2600, our standards were pretty different at the time. And to, even to the extent that a lot of the kind of rote making fun of the game E.T. the Extraterrestrial, it actually wasn't that bad of a game at the time. Uh, it just, uh, you have to remember that its competitors were uh, games where you were like aiming missiles to protect cities and stuff like that. I did not expect Critical bit. Right immediately. Anyhow, eventually I, I got around to playing Borderlands 1, and I fell in love with it. It was a game that I think was even better than Borderlands 2 or, uh, uh, or the pre-sequel. Simply because it was, uh, I don't know, it was a lot more complex. The, the writing was a lot better. Um, the guns actually felt a lot less balanced. They felt a lot more random. Actually, I like that in the game. I'm not looking for games that are trying to feel like they take them out. I think that's random. Oh, you know that hurt. Be a big part of game. And. So even if there were more guns in the later game, Borderlands One is always nice to get resupply. Hit the spot for me far, far better than. Um, well, there, there were also some of the some interesting complexities that were removed in the later Borderlands game that were present in the first one. Like, if you go over here, you can see that you have weapon proficiency, and you build this up over time by having a weapon equipped when you kill a foe. And I just think that, you know, it was kind of a shame that they took that out. Target hit! It does sometimes mean that... The nacho my whip. You're going to want to go back and start using uh, using some of the weapons that you weren't using before a lot more just to, to catch up, which I'm doing with this character. Like, you see, I'm using an Iridian weapon, which is an alien race. They made their own types of weapons. And I'm trying to catch up to the weapon type that I've used the most, which is the combat rifle. Because um, I'm playing Roland, who's kind of a soldier guy in this series. The original time I played it, uh, I was playing with um, Lilith, who's a siren, who's like a magical, uh, gifted by alien power type of uh, type of person. But Always room for more loot. I want to do something different, and so uh, I hadn't really played uh, played through with Roman before. Like that one this one. Oh, it does. I hadn't played through with Roman before, so I want to go. This is kind of funny. Yeah, just give me. 
stuff that I can just sell right away. It's hard to seek new opportunities with old equipment. Upgrade now. Now, the strongest bit, in my view, of the Borderlands series is that they have a fantastic game engine. And it just... the game is a joy to play. I mean, it has really good handling, uh, all the random loot that... Admittedly, there's a, a bit of fuss that you kind of have to go through to get used to, uh, used to all of this, but... I guess we'll save that for now. Uh, this looks kind of like a battle arena of some sort. This is like a shotgun effect. I'm not going to replace anything just yet. I'll have to figure that out later. But yeah, the there's a lot of flanderization that happened in, um, in Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel. And so I, I, I appreciate the, the better but really, all of them, it's far more important, I guess, at the game. It is. It's like having another soldier on the field. This is 
just delightful gameplay. There, there have been a few other games that just had really, really solid gameplay that, that I appreciated. Oh, lots of crap. Kid, I can go and get some things that will expand my inventory. Ooh, another chest. All right, we got guns over here. There's also a certain amount of obnoxious activism that made its way into uh, into the later Borderlands, largely because I think the uh, the, the primary writer for Borderlands is one of those types. I mean, for Borderlands 2 and, uh, and 3. But not everybody's gonna be as bothered by that stuff as I am. Anyhow, so I'm excited for the Borderlands, Borderlands 3 coming out, and it's, it's, this is the... This is the remastered version of Borderlands 3. Which doesn't actually look or feel all that different than it did. Did. Either that or I've just been really a lot of the uh Correspond to an item rarity, and usually item rarity has a lot to do with item quality. How would one get back there? Hmm. Well, presumably it's on the other end of that door, and it's not super clear how to get there. Maybe you can't get there from down here. And so, because Borderlands 1, to a certain extent, unlike its successors, uh, manages to make economy in the game uh, still important pretty late. Um, you actually are... Uh, you still have use for money all the way throughout the game. Go and have to use this thing. That's a for your backpack for you to carry loot to sell. Quick! This way! And, sell, uh, and when you sell stuff, you'll get... Oh yeah, well, hey! <laughs> you oh, you do have a door. Oh. And open! Yeah, I, I also like that there's a good sense of humor throughout the game. That always helps. This will help. When you have everything else right. Um, sense of humor helps make everything last longer in terms of game deployment. Ooh, interesting. Unlike the later you games, never have you enough carry stuff. items to heal yourself in Borderlands 1, which is kind of fun. Oh, anyhow, so Borderlands 3, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I hope that it, uh, hope they don't let us down. back here. It's been way too long since I've played this. I only have a vague recollection. This'll help. Of the way things go. But anyhow, all they have to do to make me happy 
is to provide the, the good old... style so timeless. Like, this is a game, I think, from 2009. And uh, it doesn't look that different from uh, the way it did then. It's just that everything is so cartoony. Very slow health. Hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll survive that. I think the shield regeneration effect being much greater might be more important. Okay, this looks kind of like an arena.
Nato my way. sure why. And the original Borderlands is like that for me. Uh, this is that chest that I could well, Armament here! And, um, I think this just ties into a greater issue with the industry. In that it's just too expensive to make games. So, some of it is that programmers are expensive, some of it is that writing content is expensive. And so I would like to see it be easier. So I, I'm hoping that 
hope there will be more competition if uh, uh, if the Epic Games Store can get enough mindshare that they get past concerns of people like me, uh, or at least the versions of me before I started thinking about how the economics of all this play out. And so, for the first time, very recently, I uh, I bought a bunch of games store just because I know that a larger percentage of the funds, uh, of the funds that I used to buy them actually went to the game studios. This is Except people have to get used to multiple places for their software. I think it's worth it. And I wish that people would chill out a little bit and realize that it's for the best. It'll make uh, Steam, uh, it'll make Valve behave, uh, behave better with Steam. And if Valve doesn't behave better, then there will be alternatives. Like, if you like gaming, you probably should support things that, uh, that make, uh, make the economics of gaming work out. And they face an uphill struggle, and I understand the concerns about exclusivity. That's actually a lot more complicated. I've become comfortable with it uh, for the time being, until and unless they can get enough mindshare. Uh, that is, until they can pull people away. From, uh, from the existing games stores that they're already comfortable with. Once they can do that, I really hope that they stop thinking about exclusivity. But in the meantime, I'm willing to tolerate it. All right, we got guns over here. All they have to do is install another client. It's not like they need to change the platforms, buy a new console, anything that's legitimately difficult. No, it's just people unwilling to install one additional piece of software onto their computer that will let them install more pieces of software. It's some reason you'd like to see me do these more often uh leave a comment or a like <laughs> Bye-bye.